It's Christmas for me starts Advent, like first Advent, which is four Sundays before Christmas. How do I celebrate the Christmas season? That's a loaded question. Part of the Christmas tradition at church that I always loved the most was the Hallelujah Chorus. And in German, we had something called the Frieden First. I celebrate Christmas by enjoying my Christmas village. If you know me and my family really well, you would know that we're not great at singing, but we do enjoy song. So maybe this year we start a new tradition uh, and we start karaoke. What color is the sky? I'm you more, I'm you more. You tell me that it's red. I'm you more, I'm you more. Where should I put my shoes? I'm you more, I'm you more. You say put them on your head. I'm you more, I'm you more. You make me un poco loco, un poquititito loco. The way you keep me guessing, I'm nodding and I'm guessing. I'll count it as a blessing that you're only un poco loco. Merry Christmas. In this time of celebration and anticipation, it is important to acknowledge that the land on which we live on is Treaty 1 land. By recognizing this, we hope to adopt a stance of reconciliation and learn to live in ways that demonstrate that words can become actions. May we be attentive to the ways in which we can foster positive collaboration with Manitoba's First Nations and learn how to engage in a spirit of partnership with them. I 
I celebrate Christmas by enjoying my Christmas village. I love setting it up in November and watching the light sparkle in it and getting all the figurines and making it look really pretty. I also enjoy being the elf at school and this year you're all getting a little reindeer candy cane and I will see you after chapel on both days. Have a great one. So growing up, um, the favorite part of Christmas for me always started with Christmas Eve service at church. Um, I always loved being a part of the play and singing. Um, the Christmas bags, of course, at the end were a lot of fun to get every year. And um, part of the Christmas tradition at church that I always loved the most was the Hallelujah Chorus. We would go to our cousins after and then open one gift and then we would spend Christmas morning at home and then Christmas for lunch at my grandma's. And we would do that every year. Um, the thing I loved about it the most was the gathering part of it. The Even back then, the, yeah, the gifts were nice, but it was getting together with my cousins. We had a really small family because we came from Russia, and so it was just my cousin's family and our family and my grandparents. So that was always the most fun, was getting together with them. And then, of course, the next day at my grandma's. Um, can't lie, the food was always very good. and uh, But it was just fun to get together and, and play and that sort of thing. And now I actually dislike gifts. I actually adamantly say I don't want gifts from anyone. Um, just the gathering part, being with family, being with loved ones, to me that's what Christmas is. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, whom angels greet with anthem sweet, while shepherds watch our a really really important season to me um the whole christmas for me starts advent like first advent which is the four sundays before christmas i grew up like that we always celebrated we had an advent wreath with candles um, we had a wonderful tradition that was putting shoes out by the door on saturday night and then there was always a small gift or something in the shoe on sunday morning so that was always a reason to get up um and we had I don't know, like that whole Advent season was 
decorating the house. My mom loved listening to Christmas carols, so Christmas carols were always on. So Christmas was a really rich time for me. Christmas Eve was spent on a hay wagon drawn by big horses and we would go down to the neighbors and we would just sing Christmas carols like as a whole church family which consisted of I guess like nine families or something like that and it was just it was such a warm time like celebrating the coming of Jesus as a baby was was easy like it was it was precious because it was filled with like the reality of knowing that Jesus came for us and like that incredible love of God and then I was surrounded by just a lot of love from my family and a lot of love from my church family and our neighbors like really seemed to love and enjoy our efforts at caroling and bringing joy to them. So those are childhood memories and they were really important to me. So I tried to bring that all with me when I got married and had my own families. How do I celebrate the Christmas season? That's a loaded question. First, because I love Christmas. And second, because I have been blessed to be around for a lot of Christmas seasons compared to some, okay, most of you. I can't include all of the ways here but I will focus on a few that are a part of most or everyone. First one is church. Whether being involved in a program or attending a service, church has been and is a big part of Christmas every year for my family and me. I love all of the music that comes with Christmas. A candlelight service at 11 p.m. was a tradition that went on for quite a few years. Next is cookies. I enjoy baking. And so for Christmas, there are certain cookies that I bake every year for my family and for us to share. A sweet memory for me is when I was little, my mom would actually let me stay home from school for the afternoon, just so I could bake gingerbread cookies with her. I don't think she ever realized how special that was for me. Some of the traditions that we have as a family are um, Christmas Day is our family day, like there's 20 of us. so. So it's a bit bedlamish. Everybody arrives sometime before eight o'clock. That's the rule, and we have breakfast together, and then we and then we open presents, and we go from youngest to oldest. In recent years, like since my children have all become adults and our grandchildren have gotten older, we have taken up what we call St. Nicholas's Day, but we don't do presents for us. But what we do is um, we have a particular amount of money and then we choose a place that we want to give. So like things like um, like maybe World Vision or a local um, charity or a local ministry here in the city. And then um, we put together gifts and deliver them or sometimes we just choose stables and animals and soccer balls and stuff like that for overseas but we try and make our time together more about giving than receiving while sharing with friends and family is great sharing what we have with those that need it more than we do is very important our family focuses on operation christmas child shoe boxes world vision Christmas cheer board, to name a few. As an extended family, we prepared and served a meal to a downtown church one year, and that was so good for us to serve together. That being said, we don't always have to look very far to see someone that could use some encouragement or help. A mission can be very close to home, and it can be something big or something very small to make a difference. Um, there's a favorite song I taught my kids, and it, I won't sing it for you, but it, the, one of the lines is, it is more blessed to give than receive, Jesus said long ago. Remember these words when it's joy that you seek, it is more blessed to give than receive. So I'm really hoping that now I am passing that on to my children and my grandchildren and the people that I meet, that that is a deep truth that God obviously um, demonstrated to us by giving us his son. Through all of this, the biggest constant is also a big cliche, and you know who you are that say that it is, but keeping Christ in Christmas is very important to us. Keeping Christ at the heart of everything all year is important, not just as, at Christmas. It's something we try to do, I try to do, but believe me, I have learned more of that from others than myself, and many are in this building. 
If you haven't noticed, all of the words that I've used to explain how I celebrate Christmas so far have started with the letter C. I like patterns and themes, and this seemed to work well. And then it occurred to me that two of the people that I love most are my boys, and their names also start with the letter C. I love how God is in the details. They definitely make our Christmas very special. Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmas celebrations are full of traditions. We love these traditions. They draw us closer together as family and friends, but they also fix our eyes on Jesus. This year, many traditions will need to be changed or maybe take a back seat. You may be extremely disappointed or bothered by this. Uh, perhaps um, it fuels some anxieties or causes anger, uh, but it can also build endurance and character and produce hope. As Christians, particularly in the Christian season, we celebrate hope. Hope that comes with the birth of our Savior, Jesus. Romans 5, verse 3 to 5, is not a traditional Christmas passage, but I think uh, it's quite fitting for this year. Let us also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So Merry Christmas, Calvin Christian families. May you find a way to develop a new tradition as you celebrate hope. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.